attacking the person. And let me borrow a friend. And when I give instructions, you can feel free to walk around, get the best view possible, because especially like if you're brand new and you've never seen an arm bar, and like you're all the way over there, you won't be learning it today. You're gonna need a close view. So if you're at a great distance, and when you get a close view, if you need to like move around, cool. Like don't move around and like, you know like, my friend here is on his knees. Don't move around, stand in front of him to get the view. Be like, no, like, you know, be courteous. But, you know, feel free to move around and get the best you possible. So, I have Julius in my closed guard. So, the first one we're going to look at. And the theme of the attacks tonight is I'm looking for people who make the mistake of putting their hands at or past my sternum. So, the first one is Julius just decides to choke me. Because he's had about enough of my dad jokes. So when that happens, I just capture his arms. And then I want to put my calves on his shoulders. So I go here. I like to cross my ankles. If you can't cross your ankles, it's not a big deal. But what I'm doing is I'm pushing down with my calves. And I'm lifting with my hips. And I'm just holding his hands in place. Tap. And I'll get the tap. If... You don't go high enough, like if you go up here, well, you got nothing. I need my calves on his shoulders. So my legs are coming up onto the shoulders. I just hold the arms. He would like to have the arms back, but it's a lot more difficult to get your arms back at this point than what it looks like. So whether his hands are around my throat, you know, they could be grabbing my gi, or he could be like some of you, and grab my beard. Don't grab my beard. <laughs> if it's past the sternum, I can arm bar it. So this is just a double arm bar. So all I'm doing is like, nope, want your hands to stay here. Up. Got my calves on your shoulders. Like I said, I like to cross my ankles. If you can't, or if you prefer not to cross your ankles, that's cool here. And then I'm pushing down with the calves and lifting with my hips as I hold his arms in place. And I get my arm bar. Cool, thanks. Appreciate you, Julius. Cash, where you at, bro? He hurt his feelings. He started moving, and you called Julius his name. He has a big class. These two are like two of my favorite students of all time, and they happen to be brothers. So when I see those hands, whether they're here or on my neck, as long as they're at the sternum, like, I don't try to pull the arm up. It's like, no, nope, I'll leave him right here. Come up. Oh, I'm sorry, Brian, you're getting messed up with your hair, bro. <laughs> Come up, lift, and I'll get the tap. So that's all I'm doing. So like I said, I come too short, and like I'm under, it's like, oh, there's nothing here. So I have to come up and lift. Cool. So. The key to this, it's the first time you do it, you're not going to be as fluid or as fast as I just did it. And don't try to be as fluid or as fast as I just did it. Because practice does not make perfect. Perfect practice makes perfect. So I don't care if you go to snail's plate, <clears throat> snail's pace, sorry for my English. You can be at a snail's pace, but you'll build up speed. But if you try to go fast, Maybe you'll do it 70% wrong, or 70% right, or maybe 80% right. And then you'll get really good at doing it wrong really fast. I don't want that. Go slow as possible. Be very careful with your training partner's arms, because it's gonna freak or hurt if you pop them. So don't pop them. Just slowly put the pressure up and give them ample opportunity to say tap. And that's what you wanna say. You wanna say tap anytime you either start to feel yourself going to sleep, or you start to feel a joint that's getting ready to hurt. You like, tap, say it verbally, tap their body. Sometimes people get confused and they tap themselves. That's not good. <laughs> tap your training partner and be like, hey. Sometimes you can tap the mat, but that can be confusing if there's a lot of people training at the same time, because then it sounds like, oh, that's just a random sound. So always try to tap their body. You can use your hands, you can use your feet, you know, like you're here and you know, like something's happening, your hands are tied up, 
do that. You know, like, don't just do it once. Like, like I want them to know, hey, hey, I'm in trouble here. So that's, that's the idea of tapping. All right, we'll pair you up. And we are going to do this double arm bar. So we're going to have our 